live. Hanging out, getting ready to make Skyrim sweet rolls. So, just get the final setup. All my measuring ingredients. Teaspoons, tablespoons. see if some people show up but until they do I'm gonna start setting up what I'm doing here so first thing I'm doing is I am making Skyrim sweet rolls from the Elder Scrolls official cookbook and this is my recipe it is also post posted on Twitter and I will post the recipe on Instagram as well, along with a picture of the finished product when I am done, and I will upload this video to YouTube so other people can watch and see how to make their very own Elder Scrolls cookbook. So, first thing I'm going to do is get a cup of warm milk to start proofing my yeast. And my camera seems a little out of focus. Focus. It'll work on it. It'll get there. All right. So I want my milk to be warm, but not hot. I am going to stick my milk, one cup of milk, in the microwave for 30 seconds. Just to get it warm. And while that's going, I'm going to set this up to weigh out some butter. in this mixing bowl. Let's see. Is it warm yet? Mm. It is warm. It's nice and warm. Oh, hey Sir Newt. Thanks for the raid. Hi Dino Mike. How are you doing? Oh, I need Sir Newt to get me down more paper towel rolls because they are up here, and I have no chance of ever reaching them. I know, my camera seems a little unfocused today. I don't know why. I tried telling it to focus. I even threatened to give it uh, ADHD meds. Not helping. <laughs> use a chair. I can't use a chair. This is the main use for Newt, and his freakish height is to get me paper towels. Help me, Newt. You're my only hope. Hmm. Can we turn on the ring light, maybe? Maybe... Oh, yeah, the light would help. I forgot to turn on the light. That might be the problem. Let me see if I can figure out this light situation. Is that better? Still so. a little out of focus. Newt is six foot four. Um... Oh, did you see him behind me? Or the light difference? Let's see. See if I can improve this. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it's... The autofocus is a little off. Well... Yeah, the height difference is... I think that's a little better. They think you're very tall. Hello, uh, Sultan? Hey, hey, Sultan. Hey, Sultan, yeah. Oh, see, you, see you later, Dino. Newt is very Dino tall. Mike. This is, this is his height. 
Um, so he can get a paper towel roll. Oh, okay. yes. I can do that. <laughs> uh, see you, Dynamite. Yeah, um, stop by whenever you want. Um, if you ever need to escape video games. I play some video games, but mostly I'm going to focus on preparing for the Canadian baking show. She played Monster Hunter. I did play Monster Hunter. I do like Monster Hunter. Maybe this. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to figure out the settings on my camera at another point. Oh, there it autofocused. Okay. Where we've got focus. Yeah, we should play uh, Monster Hunter sometime. Um, so, Sultan, I am baking a Skyrim sweet roll. It's actually from the official Skyrim cookbook. I am making a sweet roll, and then while that is rising, I'm going to make a cheddar cheese crust apple pie. So yeah, CRB, do you have Monster Hunter World? Because that lets you play online, so I can convince Newt to get it, and then all of us can play it. That'd be pretty fun. Um, so let me get started here. Monster Hunter. Oh, I don't have Rise yet. Is it worth it? Eh, 49 grams. You're having a blast with Rise? Yeah, I've heard that Rise is pretty good. Okay, yeah, World was actually really hard. I had some buddies helping me out, um, because getting through some of those fights is really hard. But, until Sunbreaker DLC comes out. Man, I'm just like, I'm not in the world, the Monster Hunter lore. I gotta, I gotta learn all the monsters, learn everything, learn what they're all about. Newt, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Then come hang out. Um, yeah. So I am in Western Canada with Newt, if that's what you're asking, Sultan. Um, where I come from. I am going to start rising my sweet bread. So two teaspoons of yeast. I'm adding it to warm milk so that it gets nice and bubbly. And this will be nice. Where in West Canada? The western part of Western Canada. Are you in Canada, Sultan? There's, um, there's quite a few streamers, actually, that are in Canada. More than I expected. Um, I am in Pacific Time Zone, Western Canada. So, I am melting my butter right now, um, to go nicely into here. And I'm going to add some honey. So what you want to do with this recipe um, is you want to get your yeast to be growing nice and good. Oh, nice. We get us eating, Sultan. Um, yeah, my German's like third grader. Five-year-old German, but big gates. I guess we're friendly, so I don't have don't have to go give you the yes enin. Ah, gut. Yeah, ich bin gut. Um, uh, das schmeckt gut, or it will schmeckt gut, hopefully. That yeah, that that's my German. Um, Actually, there's a new colleague of mine who's German, who just joined uh, where I work. 
But where are you from in uh, German, Germany, Sultan? I'm trying to use the very last of this honey. Oh, Berlin. Nice. I, um, my au pair was from Berlin, so I visited her, um, like, eight years ago. Um, spent a lot of time near the, like, Superman statue where he's smashing his head into the sidewalk. Had some good times there. It's a pretty cool city. I was actually, I was there for the World Cup. Um, that was being hosted in Germany. I was there that year. Quite a while ago. Alright. So I got my sugar and my milk and my yeast. And I'm just kind of getting the yeast damp so that it'll grow properly. Um, I'm going to add my melted butter to this mixture. It's not fully melted yet. But uh, what are you doing in uh, Canada, Canada, Sultan? Just here for fun or for a, for a job? Uh, I need a spatula. I just, I've got to be careful that things don't melt when I'm doing this. I need the yeast to live so I can't get it too hot or it will die. Oh, you're abroad. That sounds fun. Apparently, um, at the Whistler Ski Resort up um, in British Columbia, it's got a reputation for being uh, Australian. Um, basically, all the Australians do a year abroad and they spend that year like working as ski operators or working at the resort or at least that's what I've been told. I have actually never been to Whistler but I have been told that it's full of people doing their year abroad. So I'm going to do a pinch of salt, it's a very small amount. I don't want to risk making my yeast hypotonic. Oh, Parksville, British Columbia. I am not sure where that is. Newt, can you look up where Parksville is? Right, my butter's kind of going in there. So I'm gonna do one egg and then two cups of flour here. And this is gonna be my main dough. Oh, Vancouver Island. That is a sweet place to be doing your year abroad. Just uh, northwest of Nanaimo, looks like. Nice. That looks like a nice place. Um, one of my friends is um, visited up there. There's apparently a ton of orcas up along the coast, the farther up you go. Um, and you can just like see orca sightings all the time and they have different whales for different seasons. I definitely want to visit there, check it out. Have not gone, but I would like to go. So you can see my butter is getting kind of clumpy. That's because of the temperature difference. I should have heated up my egg slightly. That's okay. I'm sure this roll will come out fine. So I'm doing two cups of flour. Normally I would weigh this out, um, but the recipe I'm using didn't weigh out anything, so. So I'm going 
and mix this in. Yeah. What's your favorite type of um, whale there? I love the orcas, um, the sea lions, the sea otters. We see a bunch of sea otters where we are. Um, we are near Vancouver, um, Sultan. Oh, we don't, I mean, apparently you can see whales in the, like, Burrard Inlet, but I've never seen whales there. But it's not that I go there very often, so. I do want to go to Vancouver Island one day, check it out, see the whales. This is my very sticky sweet roll dough. I do cook a lot, Sultan. I can't, I can't cook and go see whales. Um, I'm trying to prepare to compete in the Great Canadian Baking Show. So the application is due every March. Um, so I want to apply next year. And there's a lot of different styles of baking I've never done. So I want to spend like this year making a bunch of recipes and just getting better at baking. This is my sweet roll pan. It's just a little bunt pan and I'm going to add this, oh, sorry, add this mixture in. Um, so yeah, a lot of what I'm baking is just, I'm trying different things, different styles, learning how it's supposed to look. Um, what can go wrong. That way, if I do get on the show, I will uh, hopefully not go out in the first round. Also, I've heard that's very, very, very competitive. Um, this looks a little small. So the recipe is for four mini bunt pans and I am making one large pan. Might not fill it all the way, but that's all right. I'm gonna just have to smooth it down. Come hang out with me. Hmm? Hang out with me and Sultan. Sultan and I. How was your stream? It's all right. It's fun. Playing some Dark Souls. So I do bake. Hey, little Grammy. I'm making a Skyrim sweet roll. You can hang out with me too. We are making this, and I'm making an apple pie while it rises so I can get used to baking multiple things so that if I do one of those fancy all day bakes, the uh, signature challenges or the, um, oh, what do they call that? The showstopper challenge. I will be ready. So here is my sweet roll dough. It's going to sit on top of my oven for at least 30 minutes to rise. And that's how easy making a sweet roll is. So 19 minutes and most of it I was just talking to people. Um, now it's just going to rise and I am going to make a cheddar cheese crust apple pie. Mm. So this is a, a pie that that Newt likes a lot. I like apple. I like cheddar. He likes apple. He likes cheddar. This is the recipe I'm following. I will hold it up here. I also We'll put it on my Twitter and Instagram. Okay, since I have an autofocus, I have to like put it on the pattern of my shirt sleeve, and then it focuses here. Um, so this is a Canadian recipe. It's from the Canadian Living Test Kitchen. 
and I'm going to be trying using these new pie weights that I bought. So this is my first time using pie weights to hopefully um, get the crust nice and correct. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is make the pastry. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is make the filling because I want the pastry um, well, I want the filling to sit for a while so that the cinnamon and the ginger kind of like goes in the apples and makes them taste better. I am going to use one of my large bowls for this one. A wedge of hard cheese. Yes. You should. And you're just hosed. But okay, but here's the thing about Sauron. You can control things and people. Yeah, with... so you should be able to send out your armies. Like, well, like, like it's sort of like a manipulation mind control scheme. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Until they cut your finger off. Oh man! Oh, you hate to see it. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. I can see everything on the map, but I can't play. Okay, so you pick Sauron, and then you draw out a map, like Anthulos. Anthulos, you pick Sauron, right? Go back to the beginning of the game, pick Sauron. Map out the entire open world, or whatever it is that that they give you. Like, this whole thing, you just, like, map it out. Like, make a little map in your journal. And then start over the game as literally anything else. My armies keep getting one shot. <laughs> oh man, armies keep getting one shot. That's sad. You hate to see it. No, I assume that's how the game is. I assume that's what they wanted you to do. You yeah. start as Sauron, you map it out, and then you play as one of the armies. Yep. <laughs> Go back in time. <laughs> little bit hot. I chose Eagles. the eagle. I chose Radagast the Brown, Anthulos, and I'm just really? I'm just riding around with my reindeer squirrels or whatever the crap I have all around the world. Ten minutes of glory. Yep. Oh. Yep, exactly. I have made a sweet roll. Look I, at you, that you guys, I don't know if you guys can see the steam. Can you see the steam? I, I'm not sure if you can see it because of the light. You oh, you can see it too. now. Yeah, there's like steam in the center. It's so hot. Now this is a hot stream. <laughs> <laughs> this stream's so hot right now. So hot right now. This is like when you lick your finger and then go tsss. Yeah, something yes. like that. <laughs> oh, it's like kind of volcano-y. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is Mount Doom. Fired in Mount Doom. Oh man. Oh man. Anthulos, I'm concerned I I'm concerned I won't be able to watch any of your streams until you're done Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Anth. It's only been two days, but I miss you. <laughs> Anth is the best. I don't know if you follow everybody, Chisel, but uh Anth is pretty awesome. And so is CRB. Hey Ryan, how yeah, are you? Yeah, there's cool people here. It's cool people here. Yeah. Coming out to check the stream. Hey, this Ryan. is my Skyrim sweet roll. Just came out of the oven. It is boiling hot. I'm here too, Ryan. Hotter than the fires of Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys. Oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Anth is great. He's funny. Plus, he's got a cool voice. That's true. He's got a very smooth radio voice. That's true. I, I, I'd say that as well. Yeah. I really loved The Wheel of Pain. The Wheel of Pain. <laughs> the Wheel of Pain. Roll the Wheel of Pain. I could do Minesweeper sweet streams in between. Let's go. I'm there for the Minesweeper. I like Minesweeper streams. Oh, man. That was funny. Yes, or I guess it was yesterday. Wow, time. Time's so weird. But when it came down to the end, we had to guess. <laughs> um, 
don't know what you're talking about. I think I think it was a situation where you had to guess and play the odds. I don't know. Um, if there was a way to make sure you could like find which ones of mine, it was very complicated. I'm looking. So I don't have any cream cheese, so I have to just do milk and powdered sugar for this. So milk and I'm just looking sugar. at the ratio. Okay. Two cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, four tablespoons of milk. I'm gonna do that in half. I'm gonna do one cup of sugar. Because this is not huge. This is not a huge thing. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure a big part of that, of course, is that Elden Ring is such a saturated category on Twitch right now. Like, a million people probably. Like, everyone who has a Twitch stream is, is streaming Elden Ring right now. Um, the, I'm the streaming other, Skyrim Sweet Rolls. That's true. Lil Han is, is not doing the typical thing. The other reason, though, is because Minesweeper is five times better than Elden Ring. Clearly. I mean, you can see by the viewership numbers that Minesweeper is like five times better than Elden Ring. But viewership does not lie, Ant. It does not. It, it does, does not lie. Um, eh, both valid reasons. Both valid reasons. Yeah, clearly, clearly. Minesweeper is as old as time itself. Like, why are we trying to make games? E like, why are we trying to make games even better? We're, we're, we're progressing oh. towards Elden Ring when we had Minesweeper all along. Does anyone remember the original Chips Challenge? Oh, Chips Challenge. That was a beautiful game. I didn't know about Chips Challenge until I met my wife. But Chips um, Challenge was amazing. That is a game. It's no. on Steam, by the way. If you want to, if you want to see that's what... not the original though. That's some remake. I oh, can't find no. the original. And the remake so looks so old. I know. Chips Challenge from like 1992 or something. That's that's the OG game. 1992 is so recently. Is it now? Is it now? Chips Challenge is the best, says Anthulos. Ant, do you remember it? <laughs> this is like one of the you most know, like, like... he'd run around and go, eh, 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 when he run into the walls. Like the, no, like the noise it would make. It was the best game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still have it in a really old computer. Oh, oh man. man. You got to get that code out and, like, email it out so I can put it on, like, I'll play it through DOS or something. Oh, man. <laughs> I love that game. That was so good. I've been trying to find, like, the original Chips Challenge. Can't find it anywhere. That's cool. That's really cool. All right, I want this a little whiter, so I'm gonna add a little more sugar. Okay, and and okay, wait. I need I need little hand to help me out with this. Yes. I didn't play much chips challenge, Ant, but I remember oh, yeah, I was. I remember that Ant. No, I remember that thing that would chase you. Oh, it was terrifying. You'd be trying to collect your computer chips. And this giant monster thing would jump out and eat you. Now, I only saw you playing, or maybe I was playing it. Wasn't it a spider? I don't remember what it was, but it was like some weird creature that would just like chase you around and it was maybe terrifying. maybe it wasn't a spider. I could be wrong. That's I, I needed I needed a little hand to help me out with that one. But I thought I saw a level or two with a spider or something in it. There were levels with like fire that like that would just be moving in oh, a yeah, pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had no, to no, I mean that, that's normal stuff. Three hundred chips in the level. Yeah, there was one level that you just had to like eat all the chips in time before like the thing that chased you came. I'm so excited that you you remember Chips Challenge, Ant. This was the game. That and Sib One, like that was all we had on my dad's computer. Civilization 1 and Chips Challenge. And Civ 1 is a very old game as well. Civ 1 is still... It holds up. Mm. So, it, it's really funny. Has anyone in chat... Feel free... I mean, whenever I put, bring this up, no one knows what I'm talking about. I didn't play the Incredible theme. The Incredible Machine. I've never heard of I've that. I've never Anne. heard of that. Well, what were you saying, Newt? Um... Feel free to tell us what you're talking about, Anth. I don't want to, like, derail what you're saying, but I was just going to ask if anyone has heard of Civilization Call to Power. 
No, Civilization Two: Test of Time is the greatest civilization no, 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 no. I, of all time. I know, I know. Sid Meier's Civilization Two: Test of Time is is, is great. <laughs> but what I'm talking about is a spin-off series known as Civilization: Call to Power. It is not Sid Meier's Civilization. It's actually different, but it has almost identical gameplay. Off-brand Civ. It's off-brand Civ. Has anyone heard of it? <laughs> because I played Civilization: A Call to Power. And for the longest time, I thought that was Civ 1. I've and never it is heard not. of that. I've never I, heard of it. Well, I, I've heard you talk about it, but I I've own never it, played I it. I own it on Steam. I can prove to you it exists. <laughs> Still hot. i got to wait for Actually, this to cool. I think the only one on Steam is Civilization Call to Power 2. But, um, but yeah, it's its own. It's actually it's, it's a pretty cool game. But, I mean, it's not as good as Sid Meier's Civilization. Particularly Sid Meier's Civilization like 4, 5, 6. Like, those are much better. We gotta play Civ 1. Like the actual? Yeah. The actual Civ 1? Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's a whole different thing. Or we should do an online civilization play. Yeah. Just multi-map. Uh, if we all have, like, a year to spare. You know. You can play, like, turn-based, where, like, you can go in and make your turn, and then someone else makes their turn, like, on their time. I know. We'd need a, at least a year. Yeah, it would take, like, a year, but you could do that. Um, I think I did that with someone for a while. It's kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit slow. So what is the Incredible Machine, Amp? Yeah, yeah, what's the Incredible, tell us about the Incredible Machine. I can look it up real quick. I'm going to go to the computer and look it up, but you, you say what you want to say. And I'm going to judge you over here as I look it up on the computer. I'm just playing with frosting while I wait for my... Sweet roll to cool down. I'm going to start putting some things away so we don't have a ton of dishes at the end of the night. What about uh, Pepper's Adventures Through Time? I used to play that one as well. That was... That was pretty fun. You like went back in time and learned about history. It was a good time. temperature on my pie. It's looking good in there. It is looking good in there. Different machines with balls, ropes, rat wheels, and some objectives. That sounds like Newt's type of game. He really loves puzzle games. So that sounds like a game he would like. What's that game you played with the monkeys? With the, monkeys. the lemurs. Lemmings. 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 Yes, lemmings. Alright, this is still hot, surprisingly. I could cut it so it's nice and flat, but I'm going to let it be. It's a great game. Some tombs had machines. Hmm. Noodle look it up. That's the type of thing he would play, for sure. I did look it up and it looks like you can do it for you. Maybe. Possibly. But I, I don't know that I played it for sure. I don't know that I played it for sure, Anth, because, like, 
there's another game that it kind of reminds me of um gizmos and gadgets and gizmos and gadgets was sort of similar in the sense they give you puzzles that had like physics based um solutions so that kind of looks a little bit similar to the incredible machine but the uh the game itself looks like something that i'm reminded of but it would have been a long time ago too long ago <laughs> for me to know for sure too long. Too long. I think I should put the sweet roll in the fridge so it cools down faster. Maybe. I mean, there's no rush, I guess. Wow. Well, yeah. We're waiting for a pie. We are. It's almost time to turn it down. It is. Like three more minutes or so. Some puzzles were really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's better that they're too hard than too easy. Or, I mean, obviously it's better if there's, like, a spectrum of difficulties. Um, have you played... You guys played Goblins? Oh, man. Are you about to do a... Uh, okay. Goblins oh. and Goblins. Goblins and Goblins? Goblins? Goblins and Goblins and Goblins. Do you mean ghosts and goblins, or do you mean, like, actually goblins and goblins? Oh, well, might have a different name in French, maybe? Ghosts and goblins? Well, ghosts and goblins is a classic, like, hard game where you're, like, playing as a knight. Actually, the mind mm -hmm. goblin? The, what, actually goblins? Na 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 goblins? Okay, hang on, I'll go look it up, I'll go look it up, okay. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it's definitely real. Absolutely. It probably is. Goblins with three eyes. Goblin. From 1990, puzzle adventure game. So I have not played this. <laughs> uh, no, we have not played this, Leo, but it looks cool. Yeah, goblin with three eyes. Okay, so there was one with one eye, one with two eyes, and one with three eyes. Those are the sequels. Just cleaning up my baking area. Let's see. <laughs> While we wait for this pie. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a pie. No, they all had three eyes. Okay, they look cool. They look cool. Let's see what's uh, over here. Alright guys, so we have a while while things bake, so uh, while this cools down. So many spare parts. Alright guys, look at all this food. Alright, so I've got my sweet roll. It's finally cooled down enough that I can dribble some nice sugar on it. Make it look like the Skyrim. All right, let's see if I can do this in a way that will look pretty. There we go. This 
this is so pretty. So <laughs> for the Canadian baking show, they really want things to be pretty. And I'm not usually the baker that makes things pretty. So I'm really working on that. That is my main goal. All right. Now this is a, a sweet roll. And I would be sad if someone stole my sweet roll. Woo! Come visit Canada Anth and I will make you all the food. We've got our pie. We've got our sweet roll. This. Delicious. I've got my little Canadian flag. There's some juiciness. So you, with apple pie, you, you really have to let it cool down and set before you cut it. Alright, I gotta on your way just just a short short brief flight to canada let's get a picture of this for posterity such a pretty pie i got this new pie plate and i love it it's like a it's a deep dish pie plate i think it really adds um I think it's more fun to have a deep dish pie. Can't really tell. All right. And I will cut into the sweet roll. It looks like a sweet roll. All right, Newt, you want some sweet roll? Okay. Awesome. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, keep that on there. Yeah, that'll be okay. All right. Very hot. So a sweet roll is just a nice sweet bread um, that has a sugar icing. So let's see, cut through that. There you go, you can see now. Sorry guys, there you go. I like to feed people and I feed Newt, but he doesn't like food as much as I want him to. So that is a sweet roll. So it's kind of, it's the texture of bread, right? It's got a little bit of sugar on the outside. And here. My camera needs the pattern for my shirt to refocus. It's kind of funny. Ooh, so you can see that the texture is really good. Um, it's like a soft bread. It tastes good. Nice. All right. Let's see. Shove it in your face and see if it tastes good. Okay. No. Oh. Yeah. See, I feel, and it's not like I only baked sweet either. I like to make savory. I like to make, um, like chicken pot pies and roasts, all the food. I feed people. Sometimes overfeed people. This isn't too sweet. I like that. It's just a bread. Yeah, it's mostly just a bread. Like the icing is a little sweet, but overall it's not too sweet. Like you'd think something called a sweet roll would be very, very sweet, but it's nice. It's pleasant. I see why the Dragonborn eats so many. I gotta stop your battle, eat 10 of these, and then keep fighting the giant. Mm -hmm. All right. 